Matt over at Coyote Ridge Books. We're starting a video series and blogging series. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the love of books and really what defines a bookstore that book lovers love. Three things that came to mind real quick were selection, feel, and also price. And selection, used bookstores are ultimately judged by the selection of books that they carry, a lot like how a restaurant is ultimately judged by how great its food is. If it can deliver great food consistently, most restaurants don't even need marketing. They just go by uh, word of mouth. I use bookstores like that. So you have the feel. The feel really goes to the presentations of the books, um, presenting the books in a way that the customers uh, are comfortable with. If you have a younger audience looking for graphic novels and vinyl and CDs, you may have a little more hip, cool place. But if you're specializing like we do, more in used mysteries, used serials, in other words, books that people will read in a series, um, also textbooks and things like that, it will typically attract uh, a different audience. So. And ultimately, the price. No book lover walks into a bookstore and expects to pay a high price. People will expect an idiosyncratic experience in a used bookstore. It might be a little messy. It might be a little disorganized, although we are alphabetizing everything in our store currently and making it as easy as possible for people to find. But ultimately, the disorganization is what creates a lower price because you didn't have to spend all the time organizing it. Plus, there's no new books, which are very expensive. You know, the fourth thing that sort of envelops all this is the location. A great used bookstore really will absorb the best parts of its city to become better and better. Thanks.